Hi, my name is Ofer Varkus, and I'm the CEO of Adobe Clean Technologies, and I'm here to give you some update about our exciting news, and then talk to you about plans going forward. So Adobe developed a technology chemical platform, and it can be applied in different sectors. And so what we do is basically taking long heavy molecular chains and making them shorter and basically increasing their values. So our first application is taking renewable oil and transforming them into renewable fuels, advanced chemicals. And our second application is improving the properties of bitumen and heavy oil. And the last application that we are currently working on is uh, of course upscaling of uh, waste plastic. Basically we're taking low value waste of plastic. It could be either a single stream or a mixture of streams. And when we finish with it, what comes out is a material that is very light and worth quite a lot. The process that we have developed can do it in a lower energy mode and it can take a little bit more contamination and the value of the product is much higher. And so that gives you a little bit of ability to perform well in comparison to our peers or competitors. So at the beginning of 2022, we promised to our investors to first and foremost put machine in the ground and second bring some partners to help us develop and continue the commercialization path. So we're here at the end of 2022 and as you can see behind me the machines are nearly complete. As for our partners, we just announced that we've been selected to the Shell Game Changer program. We're super excited about it. Uh, we basically have the opportunity to uh, demonstrate Shell the technology's capabilities. In addition, we also took a massive project to increase our lab size. So the lab is due to be ready in basically the first quarter of 2023. And with that milestone, we are basically good to go and initiate our customer engagement program. If 2022 was uh, basically building the building blocks of our operation, where we have uh, developed a um, demonstration unit for the plastic and the demonstration unit for the bitumen and the flash drum that is required for both units to sustain both units. So 2023 is basically the integration of those building blocks and moving forward and our intention is basically to host more customers, run more experiments and really expand our process towards the commercialization phase. 2023 is also dedicated for our pilot system, is for ton per day units. So those would be more of the semi-commercial commercial unit and we are working around the clock not just on the design of the unit but uh, demonstration the technologies to customers that will help us to facilitate it working around relevant grants basically amplifying everything that we've been doing in 2022. So Aduro has been recently awarded 1.14 million dollars by MITAC and NSERC both government organizations towards a research project with the Western University and the goal there is really to deal with contaminated materials, and this is part of our commercialization program. But maybe uh, more importantly, it's a great way to meet new skills, young scientists that will join the program. The program will eventually host about 18 research uh, scientists. All of them will work on site with the key investigator, a professor at the university. And at the end of the day, the way we Aduro see it is that all of them are basically potential candidates as employees going forward for Aduro. So the length of the project is three years and you can see how on that section we are really planning our growth through that program. So we're looking forward to meet those guys and to execute this project. So we're also growing our team substantially and uh, we have a really fantastic team that works through all this year 24-7 to design, build and execute those projects. And basically our team is uh, really hungry and uh, super ready to uh, towards uh, 2023. And so for Aduro, what a great way to finish 2022 with our partners, our press release, really an exciting way to start 2023.